Wow, wow, wowie, wow, wow, wow. So many little people here I have to review. I was very excited to find these in Walmart in Canada. They looked so cute. I had to get them. They were a little pricey, I have to say. Um, $12 each, I think, was around what I paid for them. But they are so cute. So we've got some of the classic figures in here and some of the new characters. I'm not sure if these guys were in the first three movies or not. It's been a while since I've seen them. I just know that they're real good movies. I totally could watch them again because it's been so long. I don't even remember really what happened in those movies. Thanks, guys, for coming in and joining me today. I am kind of want to go to the toy store. It's getting late, but I thought I had to throw in a good, awesome review before I do run off. It's the last day for some really good sales at Toys R Us, and tomorrow... If you live in Canada, at, to at Toys R Us, all Imagine X is half price. I'm pretty sure that's what I read in the flyer. It sounds too good to be true. And they didn't even, it wasn't even a very big ad. But thanks for the likes, guys. Thanks for coming in. Can I just, like, jump into this? So I've got these jungle animals, which I did get these at Toys R Us, and I thought they were so cute. You can get these at Walmart in single packs as well. But, I mean, I'm getting the most for my money and getting the, well, you save when you buy more. Anyway, they were on sale, and that's awesome. And they are cute, and I think I have the whole collection of animals, except the ones that come with, like, some of the play sets. I think you can get additional characters in some of the bigger sets. And then, these little figures, these came out a while ago. Um, they put them in these new boxes, and that was around the time where they changed up their shape and everything. But these are the four little guys that I liked the most. You can get a wide range. There's, I think, a gray-haired doctor, too, which looks kind of cool. But these little guys are the coolest. Look at that little recycling guy. Adorbs. And an egg farmer. And we got just an air. And then the other two are, like, average little Joes. Some of them have names on the boxes. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know what? Okay, so look what happened here. So three of the choices I made were actually kids from the cartoon, and then this guy is just some kind of generic character who doesn't have a name. Can I do a robe call? I mean, um, we got Mr. Pigeons in the house, Jonathan's in the house, Luna, Diamond's Dolly's in the house, Batsy's in the house, Crazy Toys is in the house, Lily Doll is in the house. Yeah, Mr. Pigeon, what are you saying? I was in California, and I didn't see your other live stream video, but I had great times in the Universal Studios Park, and I had the best time in California. Sorry that I wasn't here that ho the ho whole time. Well, you know what? I certainly hope you went to the Mattel store, because that's one of the best parts of going to LAX. It's really close to the to the airport, actually. When I get off the airport, when I go to L.A., I go directly to the toy store. All right, I'm going to open these up. So there are apparently a couple other sets you can get with the Toy Story figures. But I don't even know if they're supposed to have these out. There's a lot of Toy Story 4 toys that they put out and then they take off the shelf again. And some t stores have them and some stores don't. And some stores are allowed to put them out, and some, I don't know, maybe certain stores are allowed to put out certain things. The Lego store is allowed to put out the Duplo sets, but Toys R Us is not allowed to put out the Duplo sets. Definitely easy to open these up. Oh, man, they are cute. This is a good, this is a good theme opening. I know that this character right here, Spork... I think is probably his name because he's half spoon, half fork, and pipe cleaner arms. He is definitely a new character. And look at him. Pipe cleaner arms, spork body. I don't know what's going on in his feet. Anyway, they did a really good job at little people applying him, and they made him really cute. Okay, here is Woody. Looking plumper and hunky and chunkier than ever. <laughs> cute that's what the bottoms of their feet look like yeah, there's little tabs for something i guess for the play sets and then there's this little chickadita i don't know what this thing's name is but it is some cute and then bo peep she is like a tough girl 
She'll like take you down. She's really cute and tough. And then we have this adorable little bunny, perfect for Easter. Hoppity hoppity hop hop. Oh, these are cute. So hunky, so chunky, so heavy. Here's Buzz. And oh, look how shiny his face is, which is good. He doesn't have his helmet on. And that's what he looks like. And I forgot what her name is. Oh, it even says Woody and Friends. Oh, it says Woody and Friends. And here it says Buzz Lightyear and Friends. Somebody tell me who this girl is. Canada is awesome. Canada is pretty awesome. I have to say that. I have to say that that is true. I mean, it has its downfalls, but it also is pretty awesome. I guess I should put the new characters up here. Did somebody tell me what her name is? I am so bad at remembering names. Jesse, thank you. Yes, it's Jesse. Jesse's in the house. Okay. Now let's open up some of these zoo animals. Okay, here is what... Oh, I don't know. Is this an alligator or a crocodile? You can tell by if they have a flat nose or a rounded nose. So this is a flat nose. So I'm not sure. I used to know that back when I was two or three. Wait, here's Rex. Whoa. Speaking of crocodiles, well, he's a dinosaur. How did I miss Rex? Cute, cute. I'll put him back here. All right. And here we have a monkey or an ape to be specific because he's a big monkey and he's gray and cute and adorable. Oh man, these are going to be so fun to play with. Oh my goodness. I am really excited. I want to keep them on my desk, but I'm running out of room on my desk. I'll probably take this. Just like this guy's on my desk. He's ferocious looking. And this guy's on my desk. And he's ferocious looking. Uh, it's better to have more kawaii stuff. All right, so then I've got this tiger. Look at his paws. That's his bum. It's his little people on his foot. So you know what Zooey belongs to. Okay. And he came with a bear. And the bear has a little silver fish. And do you think he's hugging him? Or is he going to eat him for dinner? Are they friends? Or frenemies? All right, let's open up another pack. Woo! So much cuteness is going on. I need to get some of those staggered shelves. You know what? Let me bring in some more boxes here. I bet I can. I bet I can set up something. Got all these boxes ready to put new toys in. Here, let's put some more up here. And here we have, do you know what kind of animal this is? If you said sloth, you are correct. Look at its claws hanging onto the tree. Cute, cute, cute. I mean, usually I don't like um, my them to be, I like them to be full figures. I don't like them to be attached to a scene like the tree. I'd rather just be the animal. But, I mean, it's cute, so what can I say? The zebra is awesome. Oh, man. Cute, cute, white, black and white zebra. Let's put him up here. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Hey, Vanessa, thanks for coming in. Thanks for the likes, guys. I love your likes. All right, we got two Australian animals. So cute. We got a koala bear. Look at that guy. Oh, he's cute. Oh, that's his bum. Oh, he's sitting down. He ate a lot of eucalyptus, so he's going to sit there. And then we've got a kangaroo and with a little baby. So there's a little baby in the mama's pouch. Super cute. Super cute. There's her bum. 
Oh, yeah, that's what the bottoms of them look like. They still have those little notch things. Let's put her up there. Here's what the back of the cards look like. I would like to go there. I would totally swim in that Jurassic Park park if there were no dinosaurs in it. The only dinosaur here is Rex. He fits right in with the animals, don't you think? Hey, Brogan, thanks for coming in. Hey, Brittany. Is that, is that your name? I better put on my glasses and check what's going on here. Um, Brittany, yes, Brittany's here. SC Toys is here. And then we have this little turtle. Oh, my goodness. That is kawaii for sure. Adorable. Put him up here next to Rex. He's also green. There's a lot of green animals. And then the tallest animal award goes to this super giraffe. Look at the giant giraffe. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Still cute. You can stick him in the back and you can see him. Her or him. You know what? Maybe I have to get a whole other set so I could have two of each. So then I could put them on an arc. Green animals. You know what? I, I wonder if I know where all my scissors are. I, I don't have a cow. But look. I've got scissors. I'm missing some of my scissors, though. i got zebra scissors to go with the zebra. I have cow scissors. I don't have a cow. But I am i don't know where my other scissors are. That's strange. Anyway, I have other animal scissors around here somewhere. i got giraffe scissors. Okay. Um. Oh, the boys. Let's check out them. So here's what they look in their boxes. Their boxes are made so well. You can get these for about $3. The animals in the single packs are also about $3 each in Canada. Um, maybe that would be what the price of them would be in Walmart in the States too. It's a really nice little box display. Anyway, so some of them have names and some of them don't. This guy's name is Jack. So I liked him the most, first of all, because he had the closed eyes and he was smiling and laughing and he kind of has my hair. That is what my hair looks like. Which it's kind of looking, I just, I just took a shower. So my hair's looking better than normal. All right. Because if it's moist, then it lays flatter. And then next we're going to open up Eddie and Eddie seems to be an egg farmer. And do you want to know something? I love farmers. I love fresh produce. I love eggs. I just bought five cartons of eggs today. And that's what I'm going to be eating for the next week or so. I'm going to eat so many eggs. Anyway, look how cute he is. He's got a tractor on his t-shirt. Is that mud on? What's on his boots? Are those puppies or... <laughs> Oh, those are laces. Those are laces on his gray boots. And then that's what he looks like from behind. Is that the same haircut? It's totally a different haircut. Whoa! That's the um, detail that goes into these. They're cute little guys. Let's stick them up front. And then we've got two more guys. This is Kobe. Kobe, I do know Kobe from... He's been around for a while in the little people land. Him I recognize because I've had a few Kobe sets. And Kobe has a robot t-shirt on, which I think is adorable. And he has another unique hairdo. He has more bangs than the other kids. That's more like a hip kid haircut. He's pretty hip. He's got, like, you know, his robot t-shirt and a hip haircut. And then we have this generic recycling guy. Now, recycling is very important, kids. So if you're not recycling, make sure you do. I am going to recycle all of this stuff. And remember, you can also, like, reuse it. You know, you can make some crafts maybe with this stuff. Kind of want to keep these little stands. And I was careful to open these boxes. Maybe I'll put them back inside to protect them. But I don't think so because I really want to play with them because they're so cute. So this little recycling dude doesn't have a name, but he's really cute. All right, so there are also some pretty cheap, if you live in the States, 
I was visiting there. You can get a nice car and figure set, and they're really, really cute and really, really nice. And I would definitely recommend picking those up. They're in the bins right now, like in the aisles. And they're really, really cool because you can get a really nice little vehicle and a really nice figure. I try not to get too many vehicles and stuff because I have to save some space because I have way too many toys. So I was happy to find him in just figure form. So anyway, I'm glad you guys came and checked out these awesome, tiny, cute little play school figures. Let me show you the Toy Story ones again as I say goodbye. Um, they're really cute, and I want to thank you so much for coming in and playing with these awesome toys with me. You can play with my Fisher Price sets anytime. Oh, thanks, Speech Fairies. Hi, Speech Fairies. These would play so much with the fun with the classic sets, even though they wouldn't be able to fit. They're much bigger than they used to make little people. Like when I was a kid, they used to be made out of wood. Isn't that fun? Isn't that crazy? They should make them out of wood again. That would be awesome. I think maybe one day toys will start being made out of wood again. Where are the other... Oh, and there's Rex here. All right. Hope you will... Oh, oh. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Hi, Nancy. Bye, Nancy.